This is it, day five of the Loving It series, the last day. I hope you've been loving it. <laughs> Anywho, the last product on my Loving It list is refreshed rose water. This stuff is just lovely. But what do you use it for? Very good question. I'm glad I asked that. You can use it as a toner after you've cleansed your face, spritz it onto a cotton ball, or one of these cotton pad things, whatever the heck it is. Wipe, use it as a toner. You can keep it in the fridge and pull it out every now and then to spray on your face. Heaven. I don't know if you live in Queensland or any other part of Australia at the moment, but if you do, you can relate to the disgusting, oppressive heat. You will understand why I say, summer can kiss my butt. Anyway. To get through this, keep this in the fridge, bring it out every now and then, give it a beautiful spray and it feels lovely. Also, after you've put your makeup on, if you spray this on, just like I did, it helps to set it. Another thing that I use it for is the pigment powders. They do go on dry normally, but they work better if you use it in combination with the rose water and I will demonstrate. So right here I've got some of the mineral pigment powder dry. I'm going to just demonstrate on my hands. So that is that lovely blue colour. Playful I think that's called. But if I spritz the brush some rose water first and then put some powder on, you'll see the difference. How much bolder and shinier that colour is and it actually stays a lot better. I don't know the science behind that but it really does. So that's the two different colours there. See how much bolder and shinier that bottom one is. Yes of course you could use normal tap water on your brush but does your tap water come in a pretty pink bottle and smell like roses? Tune back in on this page later on today for the Lucky Door Prize and how you can be in the draw to win it. Thank you very, very much for joining me on my first series. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. Um, look out for the next one. I've got some ideas ticking around in my head. Until next time, see you around.